Hello YouTube and welcome back to Ground Forks Play Satisfactory and in the previous episode we have optimized the flow which is currently stalemated and broken because uh, mainly I have no or I had no biomass or biofuel so with that thing being covered I'm about to reset the production okay 120 megawatts let's see which ones are supposed to be on you seem like you're on all right let's dump some more into the mix you you don't have any okay you don't have any fuel you you should have some for sure all right and then you should have some as well i think probably you have kicked the bucket let's see Capacity 140, consuming 126. Hmm. It wouldn't hurt if I had an additional one reserve. Let's see, 164. Let's top them up and see how it behaves. 53, yeah, let's top you up. 99 i want to top up everybody just to make sure that i'm on the loaded side 198 you are 198 200 199 that leaves the other two to be scrutinized okay let's dump these 16 these 99 so you are fully upgraded as well as you should be we're going between one we're between 99 and 120 roughly so 140 seems like a decent enough margin we have three more capable and willing uh, but i don't think we should go into that right now I definitely have the materials for another biomass burner, but I really don't need that one more. So I'm going to take it away from my requirements list. And I think we should focus on something more productive and concrete. However, I should probably set another milestone for myself. Let's see, what do we have? Color gun. So only the color gun. Hmm. Not my most utmost priority. Let's see for the space elevator. Yeah, well, not concrete, plates, rods, wire, definitely a lot of it. However, I would like it to place it somewhere where I know I will have a loads of space. And to me... This area just might fit the bill, you know. Come, of it, come to think of it. I have no idea how much placement I will have. But let's see. If I place you. No, you are too low. So that means it would need to be the higher one. If I place the higher one. So, foundations, if we place this guy, you should be enough to cover them all, shouldn't you? No, you're just uh, also... <laughs> I see. Now, the question that presents itself, will this be enough room for it or not? I tell you what, I'm going to be building towards that particular spot, and then we'll see how it will flow so i'm gonna make a step like this i'm gonna angle it one tile up and when i mean one tile up i'm gonna make it something like this perhaps now the question that is of course relevant is should that be enough to top that rock? Because if it's not, then what the hell am I trying to build here? So we have to investigate that, of course. I do like the gentle slope of it all, so... Seems like it will do. Which means pretty much that this would be an ideal area for the space elevator. 
Well, I'm convinced. Then we should just continue with it, shouldn't we now? Now, you, you, it would be nice to close the gap, you know, so. Something like that, and then just continue onwards. Yeah. I have no idea what's the size of the space elevator, but I have a feeling I'm about to find out sooner rather than later, so... It will definitely be a sizable, I think, so... I want to have some sort of measure how big it should be, and should it fit this plane even. If I place it, like, big enough. Something like that. Encroaching others' clearance. You're not encroaching anybody's clearance there, Hoss. So don't even think about it. Okay, so let's see. Space elevator. Now, should that be big enough to fit here? If I pull it down and I just yank it semi here. Can a player is in the way. I know I'm in the way, dude. I'm not a retard. So, um, yeah. How would I place it? I have to somehow find a measure if it's if it, if it will suffice, so to say. So let's check from above, shall we? Let's see if it will suffice. Now, from here, I believe I should be able to place it with no problemo. So, uh. Space elevator, you don't say. The model, I know I cannot afford it. I'm not asking if I can afford it. I'm asking if it's, if the base is big enough. Should be. One, two, three. I'm doing a little bit perspective, but one, two, three, four, five, six, around seven, ti seven tiles should it be. All right, so seven tiles roughly. Let's count that it would be seven by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Oh, and I cannot afford more. Ha! Huh. You don't say. I need more, more concrete. <laughs> yeah, not like it's gonna be a monumental undertaking, but... And then I should have ramps up and ramps down as well. But for the time being, I'm gonna just work with what it what I have got. So uh, I do need concrete, and that's I think in the second row of these buggers. So let's place that would be this row of concrete. So yes, how much can I take? A ah, couple of hundred, I think it should be fine. Oh look, fog. Weather effects, I do love them. Oh, and there's the sun coming out. Beautiful sunrise. By the way, this is really bugging me. There you go. That's going to be enough for the time being. And oopsie, look at that. You don't say. Might as well be useful to just put uh, pave the way a little bit extra so that you don't accidentally fall down. I mean, if you fall down, that should be intentional, right? Now, ramp, yes. 
All right, so that's the area that we should cover roughly. So might as well build a foundation around it. Nighttime approaches. Let's see how big we will be able to build this sucker. I mean, I'm guessing fairly big, so... I think that's about it, isn't it? Now, in theory, we should be able to fit it, if I'm not mis gravely mistaken. So let's just give it a look. One space elevator. Yeah, that one. Three inputs. Six inputs, three from each side. Then that should be probably something like this because we will need to feed it. Then it might be a smart choice that we put it one tile away, perhaps, or even two tiles away. Hmm. Let's now work on towards getting it, getting materials for it. However, in the meantime, I might want to tile these couple extra, just to be on the safe side. And I'll have the jump in the water platform as well available, apparently. So... Now, all right, that should suffice. On the other hand, it would be nice to connect these. Damn, I'm a completionist. Sixer, there we go. All right, now, that being said, let's gather some materials to be able to produce this sucker. We need wire. And some more wire. How about that much? Oh, that's pretty much enough. Okay. Rods. These are screws. Rods. Yes. 400. One, two, three, 400. Yes. I'm probably going to need to dump the rest out there because I don't think I would have enough place for everything. Ores, these, these guys, these guys screws, uh, stuff I don't need in general, maybe even biofuel that I dump here temporarily. Wouldn't be the world's worst idea. All right, some cables and stuff, wood, yeah. Very focused, you know. Okay, now plates. I need 250 plates and more concrete and then we're good to go. You don't say. We should go over here and then we're building the space elevator. Space elevator. So, uh, how much did we say? 500. No problemo, look at that. Our assembly line is working miracles. And over time, to be on perfectly honest. So... All right, time to place the big kahuna. Now, we were saying special space elevator. Yeah, it should line up somehow. And I think this would be the correct orientation. It's just a matter of fact that I would really like to place it somewhere where I have an overview of the placement. So can I actually build an observation tower, lookout tower, somewhere like here? I hope it didn't screw up my, no it didn't, my requirements. Okay, perfect. Now let's go up and let's see if we can place the space elevator. 
Oh yes, that would be much nicer. So, space elevator. Then we would be able to place them midway, some sort of like this, central placement. And then we could have crafting stations on all sides if necessary, etc, etc. So, yes, committed! Oh, that's a gorgeous sight now, right there. Up, up, and away it goes. Kaboom! Kabusha! And right as the sunrise approaches. Now, you tell me that this isn't the world's best project. Alright, yes, yes, and come on. Deploy it. Wonderful. Connection! And we have the space elevator, ladies and gentlemen. Connected. Oh, that's just that's just gorgeous. I'm sorry. Look at that. Space elevator in the morning. Who would have guessed? Oh, I have to take a little. Oops. I think I fell down. Yeah, I just wanted to marvel the magnitude of this project. Alright, so... That being said... Yeah, it's amazing. I should probably review it from somewhere... Somewhere out there. Let's just go and uh, explore a little bit, just to see if we can see it from the other side, how it looks like. I mean, I'm just a little bit curious. Look at that. Oh, the beautiful color of sunrise. Oh, oh, oh I have to take a picture of that, sorry. I just gotta. Beautiful. All right. That being said, ooh, there's something funny out there. Right, let's go and continue towards our next projects because, uh, let's see, can I construct the mount up ramps here? I think it would be handy to have them. Sort of something like that, you know, just sticking them out. On ramps you know and now I don't know if this will be permanent but I thought just you know just to be able to get up there when it comes to the space elevator I have no idea what its requirements are to be honest so let's check configure space elevator we need 75 iron plate and 50 rotors Delivery with unlock tier 3 and tier 4. I believe I have those resources. So that was 75 and how many rotors? Can I set this as a milestone? I should have probably done that. I'm sorry, I'm just too excited. No, I cannot set as milestone. Okay. 75 plates and 50 rotors. All right. 75 plates and 50 rotors. We shall see if our um, assembly has been successful thus far. 11 modules, yes. 75, 50 rotors should be no problem. And 75, well, those might be a problem. Are you still getting them? Yes, you are, just at terrible pace. 
Okay. Fair enough. Now, let's see if we can at somehow make sure that we produce more. So, what do we have now? Reinforced steel plates. Reinforced iron plates. I have iron plates and I could actually make a lot more screws to make more reinforced iron plates. I need 75. That's going to be a lot. However, I have... Alright. That would be... And then I need a lot more iron plates. But I mean, iron plates are easy to get, so... That's not the problem. If I'm to get those, and then screws, which there are plenty of available, this should be doable, so to say. So, let's see. Reinforced iron plates, another 30. Then we'll see where we run short. Seventy-five. We should come close. Okay, one more and we are short a couple of screws. Couple of screws. Well, a couple of screws I can think I can muster, so... Eighteen more screws. Is that enough for one more plate? Come on, tell me. Yes, it is. Which means we have what we need to actually send this up unlock tier three and four you don't say i cannot wait to see how it will look like so 75 steel plates yes we got and 50 load ceiling are we ready send it And space elevator, kaboom, up it goes. Wonderful. Now this is something you don't see every day. All right, now let's see what have we unlocked with tier three and four. Oh, sorry. Color gun. Well, that's gonna... Cool power. Tractor. Yes. Truck station. Hmm. Coal generator and scanner update coal. That might be an... Well, sort of easily reachable. Logistics Mark II. Conveyor belt Mark II. And stackable. Okay, it's a faster. Used to move resources between buildings. Yes, that's faster. Okay, wonderful. Tier 4, steel production. Miner Mark II. Faster. Foundry. Nice. Smelts two resources into alloy ingots. Steel ingots, steel beam. Steel pipe, enhanced in Australia, stator, motor, heavy modular frame, improved melee combat, Xeno Basher. Nice. And Logistics Mark III, storage container and conveyor belt. Okay, well, to be honest, as much as I like the logistics, I think coal power might be a bigger of a target. So I'm going to set that one as the next target of choice. 25. So I should be dumping those here. All right. Now, uh, let's see. What do we have? What can we dump right away? We have these guys we have these guys we have these guys all right that brings us back to some more wire a little cable and reinforced plates 
wire cable plates okay gotcha wire we need definitely a stack more good we have a stack we need cable for that I believe a hundred stack should be enough and then we need reinforced steel plates. Those are gonna be a little bit slow, I'm afraid. Steel plates, reinforced steel plates, eight of them. And we're gonna need 25. I think I could make the rest of them, hopefully. Maybe I'll take the rods or something, we'll see how it goes. I do have plates, right? Do I? I do have plates. I need. I would need more screws. Do I have more screws? A little bit more. And I could take some rods and make some more screws. So let's see if I can whip up the full amount of requirements here. Because that would be just handy. And then we're like already way ahead. So iron plates, iron rods. Uh, I have rods. I could make more screws. I thought I optimized the screw production. Apparently it's fast, but it's not fast enough because we are producing a lot more. So screws are um, sort of a vital resource, I'd say. All right, 17. That should bring our numbers up to almost healthy 25. We'll see how it goes. And now we should be short of uh, iron plates. Oh, we're at 20, 25 apparently, you don't say. In which case we will just hit the launch. Thank you. Milestone unlocked. Will you still be launching off? Yes, you will. Transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. An increased focus on the explore and exploit pillar is recommended. Coal is 125% more efficient than biomass and can be automated. Aha! So that's the catch 22. Okay, fair enough. In which case, I'm gonna set this as my next milestone. However, I am gonna scan for coal and for the resources. So let's see. Now, coal. Boop! Ah, oh, there is some 600 meters out. So only that one, 600, oh, and those, the rest of them are quite far. All right, so 600 meters out, we have a coal resource. So what can we build? Let's see, power, coal generator, fair enough. Has an input, so feeding coal can be automated. That would be nice. Logistics, foundations. Walls, organization, uh, vehicles, new tractor. We could make the tractor actually. That would be quite nice actually. And then truck station. Send or receive resources to vehicles. Has an inventory 48 slots. Transfer up to always refuel the vehicle if it has access to a matching fuel type. Hmm. And what's the fuel? Doesn't say anything. Fuel, any fuel type. All right, so we should be checking those out. Truck station and uh, tractor. And I would imagine since it's that away, I would want to go there. However, I would like to place this station a little bit off the beaten track. But at the same time, if I place it on that side, I will lock myself in, won't I? Hmm. But I could easily raise the pillars and when connecting those two, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna overthink it. I'd rather just place some foundations here, hopefully. And let's see if I manage to get the truck station going. Sort of like one. And cannot afford because I'm out of concrete. You don't say. 
So let's do the vehicles. Truck station, tractor. I'll need 12 modular frames, rotors, cables and beacons. I don't know what I do I need for actually constructing a beacon. That's actually a, something that's a mystery to me. So, beacon, I'll need what? Five of them. One, two, three, four, five. For a beacon, that's like rods, blah, blah. Okay, fair enough. So, for need that I'm gonna let's let's uh, pick up the requirements one at a time modular frame 12 I don't think I have that many but it doesn't hurt to check modular frame 16 Woohoo! you don't say I apparently I have that many rotor I have enough cable I have enough iron rods All right, so let's jump over these things. And probably I'm gonna need to power up uh, one more biomass burner, so might as well take one more biomass fuel source. I'll need, what, iron plates, more iron plates, okay. And iron rods, I'll need a couple, so. Yeah, I'm gonna take you that should be enough so I should construct five beacons here let's see beacons five do I have five beacons yes perfect awesome and then I am gonna go and uh, go and construct it somewhere around here ish so say we truck station and you have two inputs and one output for whatever comes along that's handy dandy so i'm gonna place you right about here yes probably i'll move this eventually because well it's not too much of a use anyway so, however, let's place a power pole. Truck station, perfect. And then I might want to add a little bit of extra oomph to my power plants. Just to make sure that I don't bug out on the next, when the next power requirement comes. There we go. 160 megawatts just to be on the safe side thank you and then i should see that i want to be building a truck as well so tractor there we go now ain't that fun Oh, I'm definitely going to put this as a screenshot for the episode. There we go. Wonderful. Try to drive the tractor. Open the workbench. Configure truck station. Fuel. What fuel? Take all. Loading. Unloading. Hmm. Open the workbench. What do I have? Oh, it's a portable workbench. Vehicle fuel tank I'm gonna ch go with biomass just because I have some so let's assume that it's gonna use the biomass of course I cannot drive it because there is no fuel open workbench vehicle fuel there we go. I think that would sound much nicer. So, E to drive the tractor. Woohoo! Look at that! Oh, this is fun! Awesome! 
So I could drive around, hopefully, but I won't be able to cross these lines unless I go around and round, but that's okay. So wait, is there a way to dock this? Yeah, there is. Ah, you don't say. Perfect. Well, guys, you know what? I think it's this is as good a place as any to call this for this episode. As always, like if you like the episode, hit subscribe for more Satisfactory, and I would really like to see your ideas and tips, and do connect with me on social media, so yeah, we can keep in touch. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Groundworks, signing off.